morning. Happy Wednesday to you. I hope and pray that today finds you doing well. This morning we're going to look at Psalm 8. Uh, Psalm 8. So uh, turn in your Bibles uh, to Psalm 8 if you are following along at home. Uh, by way of announcements, of course, the White Pyramids continue to remind us uh, of the purity of Christ and that we, by the blood of the Lamb, can be made pure as well. Um, Rocky Railway VBS is going to be uh, taking place July 18th through the 21st. That will be each evening uh, of that week from 5 to 7 p.m. If you would like to volunteer uh, or would like to know more about that, you can contact the church office. Uh, I know that they would be happy to answer any questions you have about that. Uh, this coming Sunday morning at 7 a.m., we will have our men's prayer breakfast, so please do be mindful of that. Uh, we'll also be uh, celebrating Father's Day on Sunday, and so we'll have uh, inviting all fathers to come to that, uh, to that meal uh, for sure. And then on uh, next week, next Tuesday, uh, Reverend Willard Nip and family will be moving into the parsonage. Uh, and will begin their ministry uh, here in Elkton. And we are uh, excited uh, to have them here in Elkton, Kentucky. So those are all the announcements that I have today. We want to pray. Of course, we'll pray from the divine hours. And again, I packed the one for June, so we're going to pray uh, from, uh, from May, the week, the prayer appointed for the last week of May. Pray with me. Grant, O Lord, that the course of this world may be peaceably governed by your providence, and that your church may joyfully serve you in confidence and serenity through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us hear now God's word from Psalm chapter 8. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the earth. You made your glory higher than heaven. From the mouths of nursing babies, you have laid a strong foundation because of your foes, in order to stop vengeful enemies. When I look up at your skies, at what your fingers made, the moon and the stars that you set firmly in place, what are human beings that you think about them? What are human beings that you pay attention to them? You've made them only slightly less than divine, crowning them with glory and grandeur. You've let them rule over your handiwork, putting everything under their feet. All sheep and all cattle, the wild animals too, the birds in the sky, the fish of the ocean, everything that travels the pathways of the sea. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the earth. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> psalm 8 uh, is my favorite psalm uh, in all of uh, the 150 psalms that we have. Uh, and it's a psalm of David that reminds us of the greatness of God. Twice in this chapter, verses 1 and 9, we have David proclaiming, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the earth. The Lord's name is indeed great. Um, and his name isn't great simply because he's God. Uh, his name is great because he is mindful of human beings as David seems to indicate in verse 4. It's great because though he is vast and infinite, God still considers and cares for us. That's what makes him great. So often we tend to define greatness by what a person does. Yet those who are never forgotten are those who were great because of who they were. God is great and greatly to be praised because he loves us, because he considers us, because he is with us. God is great because he cares. He cares for you and he cares for me. He cares about what happens in our daily lives. He cares how we make decisions and the processes we, we follow. He cares that we continue to remain faithful. 
And God's majesty is found in everything he has created, everything that has been set forth and uh, put together uh, for us, for humanity. Uh, all of creation sings God's praise and is a testament to who God is. And also all of creation helps us as human beings to flourish, uh, to exist, to live and move uh, and have being. What I love most about this passage is how the psalmist takes time to consider God. The psalmist simply wants to be with God as God desires to be with us. And I wonder this morning, when was the last time you were simply with God? As I've neared the end of my time here at Petrie, uh, some of my responsibilities have, have lessened and I've had more time to just be. Uh, and I've tried to take that opportunity to be with God, to, to pray, uh, to read scripture, to read some devotional uh, books, some of John Wesley's sermons, things of that nature. Uh, and I've had more time to kind of sit and reflect and consider uh, who God is and, and what God is about and, and who I'm called to be as a child of God. I've considered all the things that God has done with us and amongst us over these last six years. Uh, and I'm ashamed to confess that at times um, that I sit with God uh, are fewer and farther between than I would like. Um, and again, the last couple weeks have been an opportunity for me to re-engage that. Uh, and, and I realize how much I've missed it. And it's a discipline that I want to, to continue to do, hopefully. And, and, and hopefully I can be mindful in that. But like many of us, most of the time we tend to go and be with God is when things are overwhelming. Um, and we don't go to him like we should. And I wonder if this sounds like you this morning. Do you have a set time to just sit with God? Now please hear me. I, I read scripture. I pray daily. Um, but I don't just sit and think and ponder who God is. And again, as I've spent some more time intentionally doing that over the last couple weeks, uh, I've sorely missed it. Uh, and I've realized how empty in a lot of ways I've been and how full I feel now that I've had the opportunity to, to spend more time with him. In the midst of change and transition, uh, we can always consider God. When everything around us is shifting, everything around us is confusing, everything around us is is different or there are situations or circumstances that are beyond our control, we can always pause and consider God. During those moments in your life when there isn't enough time to do everything, I want to challenge you and challenge myself to consider God. It can often feel like we're not doing anything uh, in these moments of consideration, uh, but I guarantee you it is time well spent. It is time that will be beneficial not only to you, uh, but to those that, that you have influence over uh, because you will begin to see things differently as, as God would want you to. I want to challenge you to take 10 minutes today at some point uh, to just be with God. Um, I've done that. I knew I was going to ask you to do that, so I've done that today. I'll probably try to do it again. Um, and set a timer if you need to. There's no shame in that. I set a timer to make sure I didn't skimp out right on that uh, but just sit somewhere uh, and and consider God's majesty today uh, consider how much God considers you and rejoice in that I want to take 30 seconds right now for us to just consider God for us to just sit in some silence and, and just be with God and maybe kind of kickstart uh, that opportunity that we have today to do that so I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a, a little timer here for 30 seconds. Uh, and when that's done, I'll, I'll close us with a prayer. So let us spend some time with God in silence. Gracious Lord, every single day we have the opportunity to consider you, to 
be mindful of who you are and to be mindful of how you continue to move and work in our lives. We are grateful for that. Forgive us for not taking time to consider you, to sit and contemplate who you are, uh, for being too busy uh, to be with you. Lord, help us to make spending time with you a priority. We ask all these things in Christ's name. It has been good to be with you uh, during this time together. Uh, our last Sunday will be this coming Sunday, so we hope to see you here in person uh, if you're able. Uh, and then the SEALs will be heading to Bowling Green. Uh, and so we continue to appreciate your prayers uh, in the midst of that transition and for Willard and his family. Uh, for you all, we will continue to pray and for all the churches and clergy who are moving and transitioning this year. May we continue to keep them all in our prayers. Uh, and in our thoughts. Uh, blessings to you, and may you continue to spend time and to consider 